until what? Until the elect see me. That is the reason we out here right now to, to wake up the elect, to see the elect. Right? Well, the straight says, say, heard not yet, neither the sea nor the trees, till I have sealed the servants of our power in their foreheads. Yeah, you understand? So, and how the servants being seen? The servants being seen by this word. You understand? We coming out here and it's going Malachi 3.16. Malachi 3.16. Malachi chapter 3, verse 16. Right. It says, Then they that feared the Lord speak often one to another, and the Lord had me and heard it. And a book of remembrance was written before him for them that feared the Lord and that thought upon his name. Yeah, so that book of remembrance is this is this word. And we actually coming out here to the Spirit of the Lord to teach the people to that so that they can return to the Lord. Alright? Somebody came um came out because they are one. I think it's verse 11. Because they are one and eleven. As you reason out here so that Israel will return to the Lord. Okay, As you scripture says so that they might be saved. Then, chapter 1, verse 11. Then shall the children of Judah and the children of Israel be gathered together and appoint themselves one head. Yes. So we're going to come together, Israel and Judah. That is, you see all the tribes coming together right now. All right, that is the elect, the 144,000 coming together right now to the spirit of the Lord. Um, Four. Leaves 25 say what they gather from the east to the west by the word of the most high. That is how we gather. Alright? But the Lord, the scripture say what? He could be a, a little sanctuary unto them. Alright? That is why you see it a few of us. Alright? The Lord only here for a few good men. Alright? And they're being gathered by this word right now. That is, that is when the angel said, pull, pull back the four winds. Alright? Because the elect wasn't sealed yet. But now the elect are just about to be sealed. So hey, any moment could be could be that could be that destruction. Alright? And that is when we're waiting for that destruction. Alright? Um somebody call Revelation 19. Revelation 19, somebody on that end. Call Revelation 19 verse. Uh, Seven and seven and eight. Madam seven to seven to seven to nine. Revelation nineteen seven to nine. Go ahead. It says huh? Revelation nineteen seven to nine. Go ahead. It says Baruch five and five. It says Arise, O Jerusalem, and stand on high, and look about towards the east, and behold, the children, thy children, gathered from the west unto the east by the word of the Holy One rejoicing in the remembrance of God. Yeah, rejoicing in the remembrance of the Most High. So we rejoice in that word that we been turned back to the Lord. We rejoice in that word. The Lord gave us back his heritage. He was back his name, his son's name. Alright? Give us back our, our identity. Go back to Ezekiel 37, the valley of dry bones. Alright? Because the people out here, hey, before the Lord sent us out here, they thought there was Africans. They thought there was Trinidad. Hey, we thought there was Trinidad in Africans. Right? But until the Spirit of the Lord came upon, upon us, when the Spirit of the Lord came upon us, then we remembered who we, who we were, who we are. Right? We are Hebrews, right? It's according to the scriptures. If I, could, if I could draw an example, like a new movie, which was based upon history, with the birth of a nation would not turn up. The Spirit of the Lord came upon him for he to know who he was. That he was of the dust of the children of Israel. And that's why he went about doing what, what he was doing. Because the Lord gave that him that spirit to understand. And that's exactly what happened right now. In Revelation chapter 19 verse 7, it says, Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him for the marriage of the Lamb is come. Yeah, the marriage of the Lamb. The marriage of the Lamb is soon. You have a shy and the elect. The scripture says what? Oh, thy maker is thy husband. And that was showing that, guess what? You have a was the one who did the creator. Alright? The one who ignorantly called Jesus. Alright, we prepare ourselves for the marriage where we're gonna be joined back together with the Lord. We're gonna be one with the Lord again. Right. When the scriptures say the Lamb shall dwell with us. So we're gonna always be with the Lord, be that we part of our hope elect. Alright, the Lord ain't gonna be far from us anymore. Alright, but 
and his wife had made herself ready. Yeah, her making herself ready. By what? By gaining this wood. By what? Keeping herself pure. Alright? Just like the scripture just said, just like a, um, a woman that came married, she ate, she she was all she drew, she decked out. We had to be decked out for the Lord too. We had to be spotless. That is why, hey, when a woman gonna get married, they always be in a white, a white dress. So we had to be in that white dress too as men of the Lord. Spotless, clean. Wash with Isaac. Right? But I can, um, I can just back up real quick. If um, Ecclesiastes 9 verse 8, it says, Let thy garment be always white. And let thy head lack no point. Yeah, garments what? Which is right. The scripture said that the righteous garments is righteousness of the saint. And the ointment is actually what? The knowledge. Because um I think Ad, um, brother Adama did a video and said basically which which he right. Alright? In the day in the day of martial law, majority of us wouldn't wouldn't have the Bible with us. Alright? Hey, you might be on your way to work. Or probably in the supermarket, you might, you might say, all right, I just go in the supermarket, so I don't need to buy a Bible with me. And I go in the supermarket, I went in the supermarket, hey, all hell pop off. Where are you going to get your Bible? Well, you just like all the church people say what? The Bible in your heart. We in that sense had to have the Bible in every mind in that day, so that what? We could always meditate on the word, so that actually it could, it could comfort us. Where you might get your Bible on your body? By maybe by, by, by being a situation where they drop your bag, you need to wait to escape from you know the the the, the trip, the trip whatever the case might be by getting a scuffle and they drop your bag and you run. So as the brother was saying, we win, we win. Some of us really, really might even have the scriptures in that day, but the world could be embedded in our spirit so we can basically meditate upon. And that is the importance of meditating upon day and night. So you can stay in your, it could stay in your spirit. So in them days, you could just go right in your mind and say, hey, what the scriptures say? That feed, over feed, over take care of them kind of thing. Hey, that is scripture, say, we post, post the righteous acts. We post something going on. Psalm chapter 1, verse 1, 1 and 2. It says, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor stood in the seat of the scorn. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and, this, and in his law do he meditate. Day and night. Yeah, you have to meditate upon the Lord's Lord day and night. Meditate upon this word. That's what the scriptures say, you shall think about it. Lay a line down. When you wake up, right, you're supposed to be always musing on the words of the Lord. So much that that words, you, you might actually sort of talk like a man, like, 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 like you write the scriptures. Yeah. And you might sort of say, do. Yep. yep. And ye. I didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't actually, I didn't actually have those moments in yes. Sometimes, like when I, when I talk into myself, sometimes I can just go out certain things in my mind. I didn't always, like sometimes I just catch myself speaking like, you know? No, I find I'm saying, but rather. But rather. I think all right, that was cool, you know? Yeah. This is a um, Psalm 91. Holy peace. I speak of that man. I don't think it's from the scripture. Verse 14. It says, because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he hath known my name. The right scripture say, um, for the sins of keep my commandments, he meditating on the law. Then the son says, because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he hath known my name. Yeah, I'm really loud. The scripture say, the scripture say, the fear of the Lord um, is wisdom. The fear of the Lord is wisdom and the pattern from iniquity is understanding. All right? So when you fear the most high, you, you actually, it's because why? Because you, you, you search the scriptures and it's the eternal Lord. All right? And when you depart from iniquity, it's because why? You understand the scriptures, you understand the law, so you know what to do and what not to do. All right? And that is actually what keeps you clean. You understand the word, the scriptures say, Where it all shall a young man be cleansed? By taking heed there to accord to thy word. But what the Holy scriptures say, especially the, old, the older folk, they, they, they don't want to hear, they don't want to listen to the words of the Lord. Alright? They rather, they rather run down the beloved, the, the beloved JC. Alright? And not turn to the Lord. Go ahead. This is Psalms 119 and 11. I'll start at 10. It says, with my whole heart have I sought thee. Oh, let me not wander from thy commandments. Yeah, let me not wander from thy commandments. And these people still wander. Alright? Now, if, 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 
these these church people are wise and they actually read the scriptures. They would actually know that we have been taught in church incorrect according to scriptures. Alright? Because why would think about it this way? If they give you if you if you realize that the, that, that image, the image up, if you realize that this image is a false image, you sure there's a false image. He wants to bring in slavery, give it.